time, Tamira Mori. We've all grown up with Dr. Seuss. Let's see if you know which stories we've made edible on the Dr. Seuss Baking Challenge. Where do we begin, Ray? Dr. Seuss Baking Challenge for 600, please. It's the holiday season, so we had to include this book, whose grumpy main character was Dr. Seuss's longtime license plate. Jason. Who is the Grinch? No. What is How the Grinch Stole Christmas? Ray or Kim? Ray. What is How the Grinch Stole Christmas? Yes, yeah, sorry, Jason, we needed the book. Uh, Dr. Seuss for 800, please. Travel is the theme, and what our teams came up with for this book that says you can steer yourself any direction you choose. Jason. What is, what color is your parachute? No. Ray. What is, oh, the places you'll go? That's the book, yes. Uh, Dr. Seuss for a thousand. This book was written the year of the first Earth Day, and our creations pay tribute to the natural world. Kim. What is the Lorax? That's him. Um, Dr. Seuss for 400, please. To bring to life this 1957 book, we've got dishes distinctive enough to keep Sally and her brother amused on a rainy day. Ray. What is the cat in the hat? Right. Uh, 200, Dr. Seuss. We'll finish the category. Creations that hopefully taste better than they sound were natural for this book with an edible title and a hyphenated main character. Kim. What is green eggs and ham? You got it. And you can see the many cake creations of the Dr. Seuss Baking Challenge streaming now on Prime Video. This nine letter word describes what you should do to watch more great Jeopardy content. What is subscribe? Correct. Still got it. <laughs>